Today I'm working on the wife's grocery getter. It's a BMW 335, a 2009 model. I'll be doing rear brakes. It's a hundred degrees in the shop right now. And there's no room to pull my car in anyway. With the car on level pavement, chalk the front wheels. Jack it by the approved factory lifting points. Always use a jack stand. Remove the lug bolts with a 17 millimeter. Remove the springs with a pry bar, screwdriver, or a pair of channel locks. Follow the wires to the brake pad wear sensor and disconnect it. Here's the connection we're looking for. Remove the cover from the brake caliper slide pin bolts. Unbolt the caliper by removing the two 7mm Allen head uh, caliper slide pins. If you've got a good lip on the edge of your rotor, you may have to push the caliper piston in a little bit to get the caliper off. Support the caliper so it doesn't hang by the brake hose. Remove the outboard pad. Remove the caliper mounting bracket with a 16 millimeter. Unbolt the brake rotor with a 6 millimeter. You might have to give the rotor a little bit of loving with a hammer to make it come off if it's been on there for a little while. Clean everything thoroughly. Now for the rotors. I put a little bit of anti-seize on the brake pad wear points on the caliper bracket. Put the outboard pad on the caliper mounting bracket and the inboard pad in the caliper piston.
tighten the caliper slide pin bolts. Then reinstall the spring. Install a new brake pad wear sensor on the inboard pad. Reroute the wire the way it was from the factory. Reinstall the caps on the slide pins. Okay, this is the driver's side now. I've already got it finished. Um, some people prefer to open the bleeder screw before they push the caliper pistons in. I didn't on the passenger side, I did on the driver's side. Um, plus my car has a light on that says that it's time to change the brake fluid. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. You start on the passenger side rear, open the bleeder screw. It's gravity bleeding now. All you have to do is keep the master cylinder full. When you're flushing the fluid or bleeding the brakes, do the right rear first, then the left rear, then the right front, then the left front. These studs will make the wheel much easier to reinstall. Then set the car down and torque the wheels. Before you take off, don't forget to pump the brakes. Only do low speed, easy stops until the coating is worn off of the rotors. One other thing I forgot to mention, don't paint your calipers red unless you want people to think you would rather be driving a low rider Honda. Oh. 